Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mythic Dungeons tutorial. This time we are going to be covering loot. This tutorial should be a little bit shorter than my last couple because um, this one's going to be focused on one specific thing. So we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and touch on it real quick. My last tutorial covered pretty much the start of loot as well as dungeon keys, item keys, and mob spawning. So since we're going to be talking about loot, let's go ahead and just set up a few things first. Let me get out of this hole here. Okay. So what what is loot? Well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what loot is, but if you don't, loot is a set of items, materials, experience levels, or anything of the sort that you can earn through dungeons. You earn them either as a completion reward or as some kind of treasure reward, like uh, maybe you found it somewhere or something of the sort. But first we need to be able to set up our loot tables. Well, if you remember correctly, one of the things I told you before is you want to have a chest set aside because sometimes you can get a little convoluted. Um, and it's also good to be able to just have ideas of what you might want to have as your loot. So we're going to do something simple to start off with. We're just going to grab like one of every ingot here, or every uh, every material, rather. Okay, so now that we have all this, um, I guess this part might not have been necessary. However, I do still like to be able to visualize uh, entirely up to you. Let's go ahead and type in our loot command. So we're going to type md loot here you can create edit or remove we're not going to remove or edit any of them we're going to create another one and we'll type in my first completion okay so let's go ahead and just kind of throw all of this up into here for the time being maybe i gotta throw in a piece of redstone in so that way it would be perfect all the way across but eh, that's okay so, if you remember, I touched a little bit on this last time. Minimum is the bare minimum, the least amount of items that you earn. The maximum is the most that you can earn. So, say we set this up to um, 8, which is all the way across here. That means the minimum that we can get is 8 of these. The most that we could get would be getting all of them. Or if we allow duplicates, it means we will we can earn up to eight different items. However, there is a chance we can earn multiple of the same item. Uh, I don't like using that because I just don't like loot systems that work that way. However, I am not going to deny their use. They are pretty useful, especially if you are grinding for materials. But anyway, that's going to touch on that. Let's talk about the individual items. So here you can see you have your minimum and maximum again. Well, we already know that in terms of your entire loot table, it's just counted as a single uh, instance. So say, you know, you can earn up to eight items. Let's go ahead and just turn this all the way up. Um, here we could set the least that you can earn and the most you can earn. So let's go ahead and change this to 10. And here is going to change your item weight. We'll cover that in just a moment. For now, let's just keep in mind the minimum and maximum. Iron will change you to like, your gold will change to, was that gold? Yeah, that was gold. No, that was iron. Sorry, some of these displays throw me off a little bit sometimes. Um, but it'll also tell you when you hover over it, one to 10, one to four, one to 10 again, one to three, one to seven, I guess one to two, we'll do, We'll do one to one for now. <coughs> Actually, no, we'll do zero to one. Now the right will also do zero to one. Okay, so now that we have all this set, we now have our first official loot table aside from the other one that we kind of set up. And now that we have our first official loot set up, uh, one thing I want to let you all know, currently as of right now, there uh, actually is no per dungeon loot, at least like completion wise. Um, I'm sure that'll be changed in the future. It just took me looking and uh, configuring things to realize that there is not currently 
completion loot, even though there's an option for it in the config. Um, some of the other config options do also say that, uh, do also say not currently working. I would just assume that applies to everything about loot in the config. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up a new thing for it. So we're going to go back to ed uh, editing our dungeon. And what we're going to do is we are going to set up a door here, maybe with, uh, a block here, yeah, and then a new door. We're just going to use wood for now. I don't want to set up a trigger for it at the moment. Here. And behind there, we're going to have a few different types of loot options. So let's grab a block, use wood, I guess, because why not? And we'll do like that there that there and that there okay so we have our initial loot that we just created so what we're going to do is we're going to get our function tool out again we're gonna right click this one player functions loot table rewards uh, on right click for now set loot table we'll do my first completion Okay, easy enough. Um, if if you were doing this somewhere else, I would suggest doing it as like a player enters area kind of thing, um, or set it after like a boss room, or just wherever you want the end of the dungeon to be, because sometimes it's just gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to figure out new ways to do this one while we're still waiting on the completion aspect to be uh, implemented. So, um, yeah, I would just make it be a right-click instance or make it be a, like, kill X mob in order to acquire loot instance. But that's going to cover the loot table. Now let's talk about one slightly different variant of loot. Okay, so here is where you're going to want a chest again. Um, because there's a few things that are just going to be kind of annoying to deal with otherwise. Let's grab a diamond, an iron sword, maybe a turtle helmet, wooden hoe, lead, I guess, recovery compass, I don't know. Whatever you want, just kind of throw it all in there for now. Okay, now we're going to look at a couple of different things here. Um, yeah, so we're going to click player functions. Now we're going to look between rewards and random rewards. We're going to do on right click again. Um, now edit, now your rewards, the one thing between all three of these that are going to be common are going to be your experience rewards, your experience or levels. Those will be the same. They'll be handled the same with each individual function that you use. Uh, they'll just be guaranteed always. So let's say we want to just do rewards, just basic rewards. What we're going to do, we're going to put all of this in our inventory. Okay, and we're just going to kind of move it all over. Uh, emeralds too, I guess. But now... If it'll let me. There we go. My Minecraft is being a little finicky for some reason. Whenever I click on something, sometimes it just doesn't want to go. Like that. Okay. So now we have our rewards set. Um, and now these rewards mean whenever a player clicks on them, they're going to get all of these rewards. That's just what the rewards boxes are for. They can be useful if you want something to always have the same items in it every single time that you open it. But now let's, let's, uh, let's talk about, let's throw that in here so it doesn't get lost. Uh, let's talk about the next one. Random rewards. Uh, again, we're going to do right click. And now, as you can see, this takes up the entire uh, entire bar. It's handled similarly to how loot tables work. You can set the minimum amount of rewards and the maximum. Uh, I think right now we have seven items, so we'll do seven minimum, also seven. Actually, no, we'll do one, and we'll do maximum three, just to show the randomness of it. 
Um, like I said before, experience is consistent. It will always be handled the same. You are guaranteed the experience levels. But now, let's go ahead and just kind of throw everything in there. Okay, so that's saved. We're gonna hit back. We're gonna empty save. Uh, let's go ahead and break our chest there. Uh, save again. MD leave. Now I'm going to give myself a weapon so I can fight. Sword one. Okay, and now MD play my first dungeon. Say this is our boss room. You know, we're going to kill the zombies. Door opens. Okay, well now we have our three different loots. Um, one thing that you can do too, actually I'll explain that in a moment. So first, let's take a look. This middle one here, if we remember correctly, was our guarantee rewards. So as you can see, everything we put in there, we got literally everything. Here's going to be our random rewards. Here we got the recovery compasses, the diamonds, and the leads. We didn't get the emeralds, the wooden hoe, uh, the turtle helmet, or the iron sword though. And now over here is going to be our loot table, which is going to have a little bit of everything that we wanted in it. I believe I may have forgotten to turn off duplicate uh, rewards, so that's going to be why that one happened. We can take a look at this by typing MD, loot, edit, my first completion. Yep. So now it's set to not allow it. So we're going to go and... Uh, we're actually going to leave, because I forgot to leave the dungeon first. I'm going to clear my inventory, and we're going to play again. Play my first dungeon. Bam. Sometimes that GUI modifier, like I can't remember which one it's actually going to be. Um, if it's green, it means you can get multiples out of it, duplicate items. If it's red, you will not. As you can see... We don't have any duplicates this time, we just have a little bit of everything. And you can see the numbers are random too. These are numbers based on what we decided for the loot inputs. Very cool, right? Yeah, I thought so too. Sorry for the jump cuts I have on this tutorial, there's just a lot of stuff that I decided to test in the tutorial that didn't end up working, so I cut out a lot of it. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much the basis of loot. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can access it. You can have loot be given to you from killing mobs, uh, using keys, you know, uh, waltzing into different areas. Literally doesn't matter. Uh, right now you just cannot do it through completion. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much loot, everybody. I hope this tutorial helped you out and inspired you. If it did, make sure to subscribe for me uh, and give it a thumbs up so we can help other people see these videos show up on their uh, home page you know other people can get the help that they need and hopefully get interest in this plugin i think it's such an amazing plugin and extremely versatile so much you can do just it's it's like everything you want in a dungeon plugin and more so i appreciate those of you who decide to watch and stick around with me till the end and uh i can't wait to see what you come up with in the future